Take yourself and get the hell out of here and don't ever come back here and I'm going to phone the police about you. Welcome back everybody to another video. So we're in Milton Keynes today looking at Shuko building materials manufacturer. Uh, the reason we're walking through here is to find the front gate without walking all the way around. What draw my attention really is just look at that, like the colour, the mirrored windows. It looks quite a high-tech company, maybe with high-tech security. <laughs> so we're going straight, we're going to find out. Got a green path, uh, public pathway here, look, painted on the car park. The spaces are marked in yellow. And it seems to me that every car in here is reverse parked. So they must have a reversing only policy as well. Or rule, should I say, not policy. But we'll see what happens. There's a lot of big, big companies around here. Got H&M Distribution, John Lewis, Amazon, DHL, uh, River Island, to name a few, in the big Milton Keynes. But look at this. They've actually got blinds on the outside of the window. I've not seen that before. Blinds on the outside of the windows. Interesting one. It doesn't seem to me they have security. So we may just walk into reception, uh, let them know we're going to fly the drone up and simply go back out and do it. Got a lorry down there being unloaded. It's a massive place. Really, really big place. Look at all these metal basket trays they've got, whatever they're called. I'm not sure even what they're called. Look at the size of the place, man. Uh, I'm thinking to just go into the door there and uh, tell them. And it, it cuts to the chase, isn't it? And then we can get off their land. Yep, building supplies in there, right? He's gonna see me right about now. <coughs> Visitors left aluminium deliveries to the right. Just thinking, that lorry has to go out. There must be a main gate up here. So, I mean, there is a pathway. So let, let's just walk all the way through to the other gate. We might get an insight in there, see what they're doing as well. See if we get any freebies. <laughs> Look at that. That doesn't look the best way of doing that, does it? Just takes one of them to get caught and it's going to pull it straight off. Uh, 
Oh dear. <laughs> There is indeed another gate up here, but no security. Under the trailer here, P&O, Shuko Technology Center. So this is the main, main manufacturing place. Look at these. Are they indoor solar panels? <clears throat> There's a doorway. Some cones here, look, and a random sign. Gate three. Looks like there might be a security guy right down the bottom there. Where's the reception, buddy? I need to tell somebody I'm flying a drone over the site and I've been around the whole site, I can't find anybody. If you go down, literally, down to the end of the building, yeah. and then go right. Oh, there. Reception sort of in through that door. Is somebody there, is there? Should be, yeah. yeah. Should, should All right. Be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. So we walked right past reception already. Hmm. No shocked faces when mention of the drone, so might be fine. Look at that one. So we're going to reception. Let them know. Go back outside where we started. Fly over. Do a quick aerial shot. Get out of here. It's quite cold today. Hello. I'd like to fly a drone over the building. <laughs> I'd like to fly a drone over the building. I'm going to do it now, so. Well, you can't just do that. You need to have permission to do it. I'm, I have to do it today, I'm afraid. Like, no. Why is it that you have to do it? So I've travelled a long way to do a little flight over. I've done a little video of the, like, the outside of the building with the camera. Finish that now. 
if I always did, I always take the drone up and do an aerial view, okay. a video. I don't know if you need to call anybody, maybe, but I normally let you know so that if you see it, obviously you know who it is. You know. Have you done it before? Not here, no. No. It's nice in here, isn't it? Very nice in here. Sorry, Jerry, Steve, uh, here. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Steve, uh, sorry, to sorry to disturb you. There is a gentleman here who wants to fly a drone over our building. Does he need to write for permission? The answer is no. I, I am gonna I am gonna launch it. Obviously not here. I'm gonna go back out like on the road and stuff. But what company are you from? I'm no no, I'm from home. He's, uh, no, he's just a private Independent person. There you go. It's only a small drone, look. So. Okay, Derek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, Tim. Okay. I. Is he coming down, is he? No, he's in Birmingham today. Oh, right. So he, he said, Oh, great. You, you have to write it in to the company. But that's what you said. Yeah, but that's the protocol, you know. So, what happens if I just go back out on the main road and I just fly the over? The police will be called and you will be called. The in. police? Yes, you'll be called to your security risk. Don't call the police. We, it's private property. You have to apply to fly your drone. You can't just come in and expect to fly it. I can. Well, you would obviously have to explain to the company that, you know, what is your reasoning for, for doing I want to be nosy. I want to see the roof, um, check on solar panels you've got, see the whole, you know, well, the whole site. You, you that's have it. To, you have to receive an invitation to do that. Okay. Can I have an invitation I, I now or no? I can only tell you okay. that, you know, he's my director and my boss. So is he the director, is he? Well, he is a, the main guy. One of the bosses yeah, yeah. here. Fair enough. But he makes the decisions. So he said, by all means, to give you his. Um, I don't want to put you in an awkward position because you're like, obviously, front of house. Yeah? You're dealing with the issue, but it's not your decision to make. I am going to go back on the road and fly it. So what happens if I do that? Because I am going to do that in a minute. Well, I'm going to call the police. You're going to call the police? Yes, and say that you were causing to us we don't know who you are right what your business is so if you want to tell the police what you're doing yeah, yeah. you're going to call them now or do you want me to wait I, I think you're very arrogant sir and I, I would ask you to leave the building I have I'm not being arrogant I just don't want to go out there and start and then the police arrive during mid-flight it's better if maybe you call them or wait you know if you need to I know you're doing your best. I think really, you know, with you, you, you know, if you were a company or whatever, right. you, you know, you don't just drive into Milton Keynes and decide you're putting a drone up. You can't do that. That is. That's exactly you. what I did today. But I'll be honest. That's people's private property. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to go back on the public, um, public road. I'm not going to do it here. Do you know what I mean? I'm, we, I'm going to walk out. To fly it over yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to fly over. You're right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're saying that you can't do okay. that. Okay. Um, so if I walk back out of that car park, I'll be there, that entrance. I'm not sure what it's called, but you know you what I mean. Still in no, our, no, but... In our, you're flying it over private property. You haven't been invited here to do that. What I'm saying is, when I go, you're gonna, if you need to call the police, maybe do that or call a, somebody else. But that's where I'll be. I'm saying if you need me, I'll, that's where I am. I'll be there. Who are you? And what is your motivation for this? What could, a, what could a drone possibly... It's only a small one. It's, it's not going to cause any... It's not about the drone, it's about privacy. You know, there is a thing called protection and people have a right to their privacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. I have phoned my health and safety officer who manages all of our campus. Right. And his answer to you is no. But he can't say no. He can say no. All right? <laughs> OK. I don't know I'll give it to you because it's not your decision. I'm only telling you what he That's said. what I'm saying. I don't want to... We are quite yeah. prepared to give you his email address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can write 
and he said what he said, and I quote, 100% I will reply to the man. But the, okay. the issue is... There is a criteria that we follow. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger here. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not your fault. Because <laughs> I will then get onto security here. I couldn't find security. I was actually looking for the security gate out, so I couldn't find it. We have security on duty. Oh, they're on the... 24-7. We have cameras here 24 Should we talk to them first, rather than you... Because I don't, don't want to so, upset you. You haven't got an invitation, and I'm asking you very nicely yes. to leave. Okay, I'm going to leave, but I'd advise escalating it to security before police. Sorry? I'd advise... I'm going to escalate it to the police, because if, I, if we see, they're going to make that decision. Well, the okay. police are. The security will the security, make yes. yeah, 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 yeah. call the police and have you arrested. Okay. Okay, because yeah. I'm going to explain to them that I've already spoken to you. That's fine, yeah, I'll, I'll leave now. your name, by the way? I don't give names. Oh. Uh, Not with the attitude we've got. If it was a friendly term, I would, of course, but... Excuse me? You call me arrogant. But you are arrogant. You've come in here. Yeah. You won't state who you are. You want to fly a drone I've, over our building. I, I didn't okay, have to tell you. Our permission and no invitation. I didn't have to tell you, I came in to, to be courteous to, you know, to let you know. No, you So if you, if you see it... You came in here, you cannot do that. You have to ask. But I you can do that. You fly over somebody's house and do that. Okay, well, well, you that, could, but it would be a little uh, bit of a moral issue, wouldn't it, there? It is a moral issue. But you haven't got people changing in windows here. It is an issue with us. We don't want okay. any uninvited guests doing anything without an invitation Fair enough, so. fair enough. I'll be where I said. I'm not sure what it's called, but you know what I mean. Straight out, right, all the way to the end. I I'll be out there. I'm not going anywhere, sir, because I have to give you a disc, of which I'm not going to give it to you. I'm actually a going disc? to get one of the directors down here to you. Okay, so you're going you, to... So you, you're going to... We can't let you... Just so I understand. You, OK. All right, I didn't understand what you meant by disc. In here, OK? I have to give you a disc to get ah, out. Ah, to... Got you, okay. the barrier. So I need your name. Uh, no, thank you. I don't give names. I said that already. Well then, I'm sorry. John Smith. You're, you're really making this more difficult. You wanted me to leave, and now you're telling me I can't leave. I asked for your name. Come on. For your name. I asked yeah, but, for your name. Yeah, but I don't have to give you that, do I? With I all due respect, right? You do have to give me your name. If you want to fly something over this building, you need to give me your You told me to leave. Who you are and where you're from. I'm from home. I haven't, not from a company. Where's home? You want my address? Really? Your name and address will be fine. Or your email address. If I asked you for your address, you're not going to give it to me, are you? Because it's, it's your private if residence. If, if, if you're doing business, okay. All right. Moving forward, you want me to leave, but now you're saying you're going to get a director first. I need your name, sir. All right. Okay, I'm not going to give you because, that. Because, well... I'm sorry. Anyone who I'm trying to be polite, but I don't want to give you my name. Take yourself and get the hell out of here and don't ever come back here and I'm going to phone the police about you and I'm going to tell them where you are. Two things. Yeah. My car's not in there. Don't need that. Okay, well then go. Second. Go. Why the, why the hostility? You started it. No, no, I'm being polite to you. You to fly a drone. You wouldn't give me your name. I'm You've just told you me to get the hell out of here. You to leave this place. Your name? I'm asking you to leave. Okay, you're on camera, so that, that whole um, get the hell out of here, not good for the company. Leave. I'll be out there. I'll be 15 minutes flying over and you're I'll be finished. You have to leave okay. the property, sir. I'm going, aren't I? Okay. I'm asking I'm just you. letting you know. I'll be out there, down at the end. Where? I'll show you. You need to get out of our property I'll, I'll, or otherwise we're going to have I'll, you up for trespassing. I'll, I'll show you where I'll be. I'll tell you where you're going. You're going out that gate. No, I'm going that leaving. way. I'm going that way. Right. Straight out. Yep. I'll be there. That's where, where? I'm going to fly from there. Where? That, where? On our property. No, no, no. From where? Out, outside the barrier. Go. Okay. Have a lovely day. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh! What a rude lady. I mean, granted, I didn't give her any information because. Her attitude, but that was rude, that was. Wow. Got an illegal registration there. Not that it really matters. We've got a registration here on the floor. 
So she, she wanted to keep my car locked in here. Really? No, it's not a registration. What a rude front of house lady. Do you know what? I wasn't even sure this video was going to make it like into a video. But after that, I am 100% going to fly the drone over. 100% we're going to fly the drone over. <laughs> what a stuck up rude lady. Whatever your name is. And I was playing stupid. I knew full well what she meant by um, a disc to get out. She thought I'd driven in and I'd parked my car, didn't she? And she was trying to say, unless you give me your name, you're not leaving. Sorry, lady. One step ahead of you, not parked on your property. Would I be so stupid? No. Right, we're off their property now. Just about. We'll fly from here. Well, the director, the manager's in Birmingham. And it's a no. It's a firm no. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Nick is ready. Nosy Nick is ready to fly. So let's fly. Up we go. There we go, look. Home of the uh, rudest Karen of the week, or the rudest Karen of the month even, she made it to. But look at all these buildings they've got round here. John Lewis over there, DHL, Waitrose, Waitrose is massive. And what's that one there? ABB is it? I've no doubt she's escalating it right now to one of her managers or security. I've no doubt they will come out. We'll see, won't we? There's her cage, look, her box. She should have just got back in her box and said, well, can't stop you or I'll call security. Uh, and that's it, you know. There's another view of the site. What I was trying to tell her at the end is to, rather than call the police first, to call security, as it's a security issue, technically, uh, and security should deal with it how they see fit. And if they deem the police to be rang, then they should do that, but not her. That was my point. That's where we were before, look. Two people. Where have they gone? Just down there. No, we'll leave it for now. So that looks like the main goods in area, delivery area. Got a Royal Mail van coming into the car park as well.
skip there full of pallets uh, solar panels as well really nice <laughs> Not a lot to see down that end and the wind is making it difficult so we'll go with the wind let's see what these people here are doing Mm, nothing. We're back on site, guys. There's a little uh, cover for the lorry for the forklift truck to do its job. Oh, there's the Royal Mail van. Let's get right down. It's a very nice building, isn't it? For that yeah it's time for a photo guys time for a photo Guys, we're back on video. I don't really want to hang around here too long because it's quite late and there's a fair few places I'd like to go while I'm in Milton Keynes today. We'll have a little last nosy. Yeah, no one's out at all, are they, here? Just old, uh, Cranky Karen in there. Cranky Catherine. Not allowed. Not allowed. Disabled bay is there at the front. Look, two of them. Plenty of electronic charging is here as well. But not a soul in sight here. No one cares. <laughs> oh, we've got... I was about to say, we've got security coming out, but I don't think... They're coming to me. No, it's not coming to me.
That's it. We're going to get the drone back. Watching me, mate. What's that door there for? We'll get the drone controller out. Got security there. Not sure what he's doing. 